Peter here from Carbon Yachts. We are the distributor for Australia and New Zealand. Welcome to the uh, Virtue 10. As you'll see, lots and lots of room here with the fold down balcony. This is uh, an electric balcony which is operated just here on the side. We've got gates. The back of the boat here, obviously all the engine area, all covered up nicely, gives you a great walk through area through here. And quite a big platform that sit off the back of the boat, almost to the uh, end of the engines. We've got the uh, folding ladder under here. With the standard configuration is with a Yamaha 300 horsepower. It probably sits around that sort of 38 to 40 knots, or the twin Honda 250s, which will give you a top speed around 50 knots, and cruising speed somewhere around that 32 to 35 knots. This is the standard decking. As we go through the boat, we'll, we'll tell you a little bit about what comes with it, but basically the Virtue have done something a little bit different to everyone else with a lot of standard features. So the price you see will include most of the things we uh, go through on the boat today. So under here is a quite a strong drop down table with two, two legs and quite a long table which will give you probably two adults and two kids or uh, three adults comfortably on either side. This goes down to a sunbed and each of these arms can fold either way. So whether you're underway or you're just wanting to make a nice sunbed for the area, which is sort of half covered by the, the, the tea top. And then you can have the awning and poles off the stern here. So they're like carbon poles. As you move forward, well, underneath the table and uh, underneath the table here, there's basically two hydraulic struts that lift up and you've got your batteries, your hot water system, uh, on the, on the stern area, obviously everything to do with the motor, so the steering system. Um, so quite a, quite a big area under there. The galley, fairly big surface area for the galley. This is actually Corian. There's a few different colors you can choose from in this Corian. This one's just the standard it with, with no uh, electric barbecue or gas barbecue. We've got the sink with hot and cold water there. Two fridges with a freezer in the top of both. And then you've got some drawers in the middle there. So this can be configured or customized to how you want it. So I guess a breadboard and barbecue would be the uh, most common common way to set it up. With the T-top, it's, um, as I say, it goes right out to the sides, the actual top of the boat. So you've got very, very good sunshade and quite a long area. So it's a big T-top. And to give it that extra strength, as you'll see, there's a quite a few little carbon features on the boat. Uh, under the table, as we see here, there's some carbon that's your surround. This is all real carbon. And the same, there's a carbon halo, the same as you get on your Formula One cars, which gives you that, that strength in the T-top. So rather than you see all these boats with these sort of struts that came, come down at the sides, which probably take the look away. This has uh, got the carbon halo in the middle and uh, also the carbon dash. So it's a full carbon dash, which makes it uh, not just look good, but it's nice and light if you have to remove it for any reason. The seats on the boat are very cool. Uh, you've actually got the spring loading here for the seats, which again, all standard on this uh, Virtue 10. You've got the, the bolsters, which you can lift up and quite a nice, sort of backing and uh, stitching. So you've got the diamond stitching right through the boat on, uh, on all the uh, upholstery number of colors you can choose from. Coming down on this one, as you can see, so it's nice nice if you were in rough feather just to take that, that sort of out of your back, let's say the, uh, the waves from, uh, and then the actual position is very, very nice. The ergonomics of, controls and bow thruster and the throttles and the wheel and the vision right through the boat you can see everything you need standard is just the one plotter and then uh, an option for a second plotter and the only other option we see on here is just the hydro tabs but everything else is pretty well standard 
Here are all the buttons for your navigation, bilge pumps, uh, internal lights, windscreen wipers, etc. On the passenger seat, there's a little slide out bar, so when they're sitting there, there's also somewhere for their feet. So the detail that Virtue's gone to is very, very good. And they're not really, if you look around, everything's either stainless steel or uh, e even the powder coating, the actual rails are stainless steel, not aluminium, and then they're powder coated. The fuel tank's stainless steel, 450 litres, the pop-up cleats. So there's nothing on the boat where they've compromised the quality and, and, and basically even the bow thruster being standards, Vetus, anchor winch, uh, Luma. So they've, they've really gone to the next level when uh, fitting out this uh, Virtue 10. I think one of the coolest things is this windscreen and the shape. So definitely when you see it on the water, she's very distinctive. She's got that very cool wraparound windscreen that just follows through. I mean, for a 10 meter boat, this is a very good size. I'm six foot, so nice size. Two people here, either side, cup holder. Underneath is the hatch for the forward V-berth cabin. And it, this even extends out. If there was someone taller than myself, this pulls forward. In here is a anchor system with the actual fiberglass piece going out and the anchor dropping so it comes out of the bow of the boat. A lot of thoughts got into it, you know, everything's moulded and, and countersunk your rails. Also the speakers have even got a moulding, so again, keeping everything very flush. And you've got your deck lights right through the boat as well. On top of the boat, we've even got solar. Uh, you've got your horn, your aerials and your spotlight. Again, everything we're just mentioning here on the boat is all standard in the standard price. Got your water and waste tank, 100 litres of water, 450 litres of fuel. Handrail here if you need it. So I'll just show you quickly down below here. I mean, it's a day boat, so there's just the, the, the double bed and the separate toilet. This one's finished in a uh, teak. You've got a few different finishes. There's like a oak, a grey oak. And as you're down here, got the double bed here. So it's quite a good size double bed. I'm six foot and I've probably got another maybe three to four inches below there. I'm under, underneath there, so quite well done. You can still lie this way. And you've got a hatch here with blinds and a fly screen as well. A couple of uh, speakers, a little table there for your for your phone and uh, cupboard. Inside here is your is your head. Quite a nice toilet, as you'll see on there. Proper toilet with uh, electric flush, <laughs> again standard. Here you've got your battery chargers and obviously you've got air conditioning or sockets or grill, there's all the positions here. This also gives you the battery monitoring, so quite a nice uh, battery system. This is the Victron Energy one and uh, here's all your battery switches, remote ones. You've also got the ones which are uh, underneath the lockers there but these are the ones you'll be using as you uh, board the boat and then you can actually check your voltage and, and amps what you're using so everything's very simple and easy to use but functional. And now we'll go and have a look at the outside of the hull. As you'll see here with the balconies Obviously, nice sharp edges or anything. So you probably, again, you can have two or three people just sitting here. This will sit up and so it's in line and it's part of your grab rail and then pops down here when, when you're sitting in the water. So you'll see on the hull here, they're quite massive steps. So it's another, another twin step hull. Uh, this is designed by Pete Step. It's a Swedish patented hull that Virtue have ch chosen quite popular on many boats for that better efficiency and uh, as we all know you've seen it but these is very very aggressive uh, steps on the Virtue 10. This is the carbon fibre which is an option so basically that would be a, a painted or gel coated hull underneath and then this is an option if you like with the uh, carbon fibre inserts. On the bow we have a uh, opening uh, anchor system so the arm comes out and drops the uh, stainless anchor and then comes back in so it's part of the moulding of the bow 
which is super, super cool to have on a 10 meter boat. So if you want more information on the Virtue 10, please subscribe and like us at Carbon Yachts, and we hope to see you very, very soon. Thank you.